This video will cover the topic, Finding Values of Trigonometric Functions Given Information About an Angle, Problem Type 4. What type of information will we be given in these problems? We will be given the value of one trigonometric function, as well as whether another function is greater than or less than zero. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say we're given that sine theta equals 5 6 and cotangent theta is less than zero. We want to find the exact values of tangent theta and cosine theta. From the given information, we can deduce what quadrant theta is in, and we can also draw a triangle that will help us solve the problem. I don't understand how we can tell what quadrant theta is in. Let's take a look at a coordinate axis. In quadrant 1, all trig functions are positive. In quadrant 2, sine is positive while cosine and tangent are negative and the corresponding co-functions for each trig function follow the same rule. In quadrant 3, tangent is positive while sine and cosine are negative. In quadrant 4, cosine is positive while sine and tangent are negative. In this problem, we're given that at this angle, the sine function is positive and the cotangent function is negative because cotangent theta is less than zero. Based on this information, we know that theta must be in quadrant 2. To help us solve our problem, we can draw a triangle where the point x, y is on the terminal side of theta. Now, to determine the desired trig function values, we need to figure out what sides of the triangle we already know. Since we're given sine theta is equal to 5, 6, this would mean that the side opposite of the angle equals 5, and the hypotenuse equals 6, right? That's right. So the last value we need to find is the adjacent side. We can do this using the Pythagorean theorem. We can substitute our values into the equation and solve for x. So the answer is both positive and negative? Not quite. Since we're working in quadrant two, the adjacent side lies on the negative portion of the x-axis. So our value is x equals negative square root 11. Now that we know the sides of our triangle, we can find the trig functions given in the problem. By the definition of trigonometric functions, we know that tangent theta equals y over x and cosine theta equals x over r. We can substitute the values from our triangle into these equations, and we see that tangent theta equals 5 square root 11 over 11, and cosine theta equals negative square root 11 over 6. Okay, so to find values of trigonometric functions, given information about an angle, we first determine which quadrant the angle lies in. We then draw a triangle to help us solve the problem, and we use our knowledge of trig functions and Pythagorean theorem to find the value of the missing side. From here, we can substitute the values from our triangle into the desired trig equations to find our answers. That's exactly right. Great work!